now I'm going to give you a lesson in how not to build a port. <laughs> now, I poured this. We used to just have a stoop here. Right here. Yeah, You'll right. notice this part has not fallen. Uh -huh. That's because it's on a concrete stoop that was here. Right. Okay. But you can see here that it's fallen way, way down. Yeah. Okay. So, and it's cracked. Yeah. This is my fault because I didn't build it right. I had never done, I had poured lots of slabs, but it was always somebody came out with a truck mm -hmm. and the forms were already in and all we did was pour the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay. I did it wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay. The outside, I built the foundation out of cinder block. All the way around. I built all the cinder block in. Okay. Which is correct. Which is correct. But this block should have been a half block this way. Oh, okay. Okay. And there was the the concrete foundation for the house was over there. Right. And so I thought, I'll just fill to that and it'll be fine because I put rock and sand I put rock and then I hose the sand in rock and then you hold this in metal and old bikes and everything else and then lots and lots of sand. What I didn't do was build a wall just like this one in front of the foundation block, right. the same height. Right. And then pour the slab on top of that. Mm -hmm. That's what I should have done. That's what I didn't do. Now it turns out I'm not the only person who ever did that. Okay, so. This is what I'm doing to fix it. Of course, it, the way you did it, it lasted over 20 years. It lasted until we had the earthquake. Yep. We had a minor earthquake. It was fine. There were no, except for the, the expansion joints that right. I purposely put in it. Right. There were no cracks in it. Mm -hmm. Then the earthquake came. And again, everybody's like, well, you can't do blah, blah. But if it was sitting over that and it was sitting over a wall on this side, this would not have happened. Right. It might have cracked in some other way, but it wouldn't have cracked and done this. Right. Okay, so what I did was I used a bonding agent. You can buy bottles of bonding agent, and it helps. Yeah, there's, it's underneath the thing. Oh, is it? Okay, mm -hmm. here's one. Here it is, right here. Okay. It's one of the empties. So that's what it is. Concrete bonding additive. Yeah. Okay. Lots of different brands. So you paint it on, you let it dry for an hour, and then you can start pouring your concrete from then on. Turns out this bottle only went to this section. We're going to have to get another bottle to do this section. It's not cheap, but it's not super expensive. It's like $12 a bottle. Okay. Then, notice I'm not using concrete mix. No. You know, I'm using concrete mix because you can't top with concrete mix because the thinner you go, yes. the more likely the concrete will crack. Sand mix is made for topping just exactly a project like this where cement is falling and you're just filling in cracks, filling in holes, raising the level back up. So this is sand mix. Sand mix is more expensive than concrete mix. It technically is not as strong as concrete mix, but the strength that you get from the concrete mix is why the edges that are the thinnest would break faster. Right. I don't know if this is going to work. I know that it should work, but I poured this yesterday, getting ready to pour this other one. So what am I doing? Am I putting a level on it? I don't know how you'd even start to level this because of what it is. You could get a level out, attach it to a board and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. So what I'm doing is I know how far it's fallen on this side because of this crack. Right. I've just put this board on, and then I just have it attached. So I'm bringing it to this level on this side because the outside wall is right. Yes, it hasn't fallen. And I'm filling up the gap on that side, and then I'm doing it by eye. And I think I got pretty close. It looks good. But uh, in this case, close is going to have to be good enough. It's going to be better than what it is. You'll see if you go, if she shines it back this way, you can see that the dent, that's that there as you might guess, Lynn tripped on that yesterday, <laughs> yesterday and knowing that we were filling this because 
of this. Yes, yes, she yes. She tripped on it yesterday. Yes. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. I Obviously, I anything's going to be better than that. Right. When I get all done, I will put a stain on it. I'll show you that at some later date. But this is why it's taking me forever to paint this fucking house. Yeah, this is all part of painting the house. <laughs> because all of this shit has to get done at once. Mm -hmm. We got the front of the house painted yesterday. Yes. Lynn got most of the rail painted to here yesterday yes. so I could start pouring. Because mm -hmm. we don't want to get paint on it. Right. So there's that. Okay. We'll so Zeb's back. around here somewhere. You're getting <clears throat> a picture of Zeb. So I have my good help on board today. Yes. And we're just going to mix some in. Well, sand mix. We're just going to mix sand mix. Throw it into the holes. Simple. Should be lots of work. And yes, she's doing it in the wheelbarrow. Yeah. And those are what? 60 pound bags? 60 pound bags, yeah. And are you still doing two bags at a time? or? No, I think we're going to do them one bag at a time. Dump them in as fast as we can. And then try to do it all at once. Okay. So, and I will film. It's taking an immense amount. We thought I thought that each one of these pours would take two bags, and the thinnest one, which was that outside edge, that took three bags. So yeah. it's going to take at least four bags to do the next one, and the next one, and the one after that. So, yeah, yay, yay! It's probably going to take five bags to do that one because the whole thing. Well, except it's lower on that side. It's, we'll find out when we get there. It's higher on that side and lower yeah. on this side. So, who knows? Maybe take the same four okay. bags. We'll see. I will film again when you're mixing. You are on. Okay, so we're mixing it. We're pouring it in. We're smoothing it out. We're learning really quick that I did not buy nearly enough cement. So, But it's also, like I said, I mean, I'm sure somebody... Somebody else online could probably show you right exactly how to level this out, but I don't know, and I'm not going to pretend. Also, are you willing to do a whole tutorial, or do you want to get the job done? That's what a lot of my life is about. You are on. Hello! Okay, so as you can see, we're getting ready to do the last of this pour. And uh, I put down the bonding agent. Is it completely flat and level? No. I would like to say yes, but no, because I didn't know how to do it. <laughs> so here's the thing. I can either go hire somebody who knows what the fuck they're doing, uh -huh. or I can just do it. And go into debt to do it. And just have it. Well, I don't have the money to hire somebody uh -huh. to do it. So, uh -huh. you know, because we had to put a roof on our house, so our savings are blown. Yeah. And you fuckers will not get enough people to watch this fucking channel. <laughs> it's to monetize. To monetize. I may have put too much water in this, but I don't think I did. No, because you It's didn't. easier if you figure out how much water, and then you put all the water in at once, so, like, you do a couple and figure out how much water it is, because uh -huh. the more water it is, that's in it, the easier to do it. Then you're like, why don't you use a cement mixer? Because I did that once, and guess what? It doesn't really save any time. No, it doesn't save any time, and it's a lot of back and, and forth with mixed cement. Up, and you got to put it somewhere, you can't take it to where you need it. At any rate, so the reason why I had Lynn bring you guys back out here for this is it because it's so interesting to watch me mix cement. Mm -hmm. Is because my stupid ass just figured out this whole time I'm going, I don't remember pouring this slab being this big a pain in the ass. Then it was 60 times as much cement. It must be because I'm old. Well, that's part of the reason. Mm -hmm. But the other reason is there wasn't a fucking roof on here no, no. or this rail system, and I could just pour it one section at a time, and I didn't have to deal with flower beds and all this yes. shit because they weren't. Here. Exactly. It was a new new construction, basically. I could come basically. right to the edge. I could put shit on. I did a ramp. I had a ramp so I could bring the cement up. I started it at this fucking end and went that way. It was, I mean, at that end and went this way. It was fucking easy. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why. But it took me a while to realize. So I was like, why is this so much shittier? I don't remember it being that shitty. 
It was pretty shitty. It was pretty shitty. It was, it was a lot of fucking work. But it was a lot of work. A lot of it was. But I uh, didn't remember it being so much a. Yeah, it was sand mix, not uh, and it wasn't sand mix. It, it was, was uh, cement, concrete. Yeah. Well, and I wasn't. And all I had to do was level the top. Right. Which meant I got to scrape level it. Right. Right. With a big board. I literally got to put a board on it and then just drag it across. Yes. Right. Which. So much easier. So much easier to get a level line that way. Yep. Instead of trying to put a top on it. So, when you have the rail and the flower beds. And, and, but, yeah, that's a little loose, but that's okay because I want it to go into cracks. Yeah, this... Okay, so here's... So, as you can see by the fact I'm wearing a hoodie, and so is Lynn, though you can't see that. Um, <coughs> it's colder than shit this morning. Yeah. It just now hit 40. So... I'm out here first thing in the morning this morning. I put the bonding agent on. And then I started mixing cement because we're supposed to get a hard freeze tonight. Yeah. Normally this time of year, no hard freeze. No. Uh-uh. We literally... You're in there. I know. Oh, okay, okay. We literally went from... We literally in the spring went from colder to shit, need a heater. Right. To air conditioning in a week. Yes. And now it's fall, and we literally went from air conditioning to we have to have heat in a week. Mm -hmm. I'm running out of time to get these projects done. The cement needs to be hard enough by 12 o'clock tonight that the freeze doesn't bust it up. Yeah. So I'm pouring it as early as possible, freezing my ass off to do so, because I'm running out of time. Our lawn furniture, show them. The porch furniture is out in the element. Yeah. Yep. And, and we have no sidewalk. Yeah. Till I get to the side. So. Yay. So, yeah, it's just one thing after another after another. And of course, while this was going on, the septic tank decided to back up again. It's the lateral lines, which is, what I which is the they, of that was the problem in, in the, the first, first place. place. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was afraid of in the first. Place. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Of course, that turned out to be what it was because then I had to we had to move to the other house again for the third time this year because of water. Mm -hmm. I told my wife we don't need indoor plumbing, but she doesn't listen. <laughs> She's so selfish. I know. That's me. Well, indoor plumbing meant I wouldn't have to do all this shit if we didn't have indoor plumbing. That's right. Go to the freaking outhouse. Go to the outhouse. We'll haul water in with a bucket. <laughs> Why? It was good enough for our ancestors. It's good enough for us. I'd rather do all that to deal with plumbing. <laughs> Yay, and another bag. But at any rate, so I uh, had to dig a trench, a 12-foot trench, a foot deep, to even get the septic tank down where I could put chemicals into it. Yeah. So the first chemicals I put in was copper to kill roots in the lines. But... I was afraid that wouldn't, that's going to take a while. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, whatever gunk is in the ruts, going to keep the water from flowing. So yesterday I got two gallons of lye, put those straight in the septic tank, and then we moved home. And now it's just, yeah, I wonder if it's going to work. Because if not, remember I said we emptied our savings account? If not, I'm going to have to dig up the leach lines and the ladder fuel by hand. <laughs> and freaking replace all the drainage pipes for the leech lines. Yay. Yeah. Poverty. I am running out of juice, so I'm going to go plug this in and show them when you're done. Okay, now. I'd you... be careful walking on this part because it's still very fragile. Right. It was just poured yesterday. How many bags did this one take? Four. I thought it was going to take five. I have to do some other work, so I'm going to have to 
do that fifth one anyway. Okay. All right. That's as level as I can get it. That's. I think it's phenomenal. I love it. It's got little trial marks in it that I don't care about. No, I don't either. I think they're awesome. But you might. If you do, what you want is you want a float uh, to make a wooden float with rounded edges. That will keep it from getting those little trial marks. But I don't give a crap. I don't either. We're going to walk on it, people. Walk on it. And we're going to stain the whole thing. We're going to stain the whole thing. Hopefully that'll cover up a multitude of sin. We'll see. I don't know. Because this has already been stained. Sometimes you go, mm, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. At any rate. So that's it. That's the whole enchilada. Yay. It's some, this is what I want to tell you. When you're making do, when you're poor folk, sometimes you do stuff and it is better, but it doesn't look better. Right. So there's a point at which you go, do I want to have something that's falling through that's a tripping hazard for my 83-year-old mother and us? Mm-hmm. Or do I want to have something that maybe doesn't look as good that's going to work? I think it looks amazing. And like you said, it's a floor. We're going to walk on it. Mm -hmm. And we'll actually be able to walk. Yeah. So yay. No, I'm Ooh. thrilled. Yeah, so it's better. It's awesome. It's better. It does, maybe it doesn't look better, but it is better. It looks a lot better. I love it. But anyway, so now i got to go make some more cement because i got a couple of more fixes. I didn't have... I thought this was going to take four and a half bags. It only took four, four bags. So you've got a whole bag to do your fixes with. Well, I have two bags. I have three bags because I bought extra. That's true. That's true. So, but I still need to fix those and I need to get them done now before the freeze. So. Yeah. Well, I am go I've got to leave, of course. Okay. You know, we'll see you yeah. later. Until next time. Find a good job, make good money, so you can hire motherfuckers to come do all this piddly ass shit. <laughs> Fuck, do it yourself. Fuck it! <laughs>